Okay, for M1 from EV1. Uh... And it's the same suit up room that astronauts have been using since Apollo. SpaceX and NASA are sending astronauts into space in the name of bringing human spaceflight back to the United States. The Launch America campaign marks the first time Elon Musk's space company has attempted to launch people. It's also the first crewed mission from US soil since the end of the space shuttle program in 2011. Three, two. The Crew Dragon spacecraft is set to take off from Florida for the International Space Station on May the 27th. Aboard, two NASA astronauts, Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley. It's more of an international and a public-private effort to get us to the moon or to get us to Mars that I think is going to be successful. And, and this, is, this is the first time we've done this. As the final flight test for SpaceX, this mission will validate the company's crew transportation system before it can start regularly flying humans for NASA. Okay. The SpaceX vehicle uh, has a lot of features and capabilities that uh, hopefully we never have to utilize in a real mission, uh, but Doug and I will make sure that they are all ready just in case we do. And uh, it's everything from a response to a fire on board uh, to uh, flying close to the uh, International Space Station manually instead of letting the computer do it. For the past decade, NASA has been relying on Russia's Soyuz rocket to ferry astronauts to space. Success here could mark the end of that. In 2017, President Donald Trump ordered the agency to send astronauts back to the moon by 2024. It's going to be a shared effort uh, and a shared collaboration to get us to the moon and, and especially to Mars uh, successfully. And, and this, is, this is the first part of that.